I took the first 10 that agreed to be interviewed and that fit the demographic and they had no idea what it was going to be and I played them in order and I was hoping that it would illustrate my point which is <laughs> it's a lousy campaign that's ruining radio and the first two people they identified the advertiser and one of them you saw it, did it immediately and I thought oh boy I'm going to be making a fool of myself here because I had made a commitment to myself I was going to do 10 and although I was hoping to look for evidence that I'm right if it turned out that I'm wrong I was going to go with those 10 and so the 10 if you saw the video the 10 that you saw are in order okay so the first guy outside the uh, subway sandwich shop and the next guy who knew it immediately first two they knew it and I thought oh boy I'm really going to be embarrassed and then as it progressed suddenly the tide started to change for the last person in the interview the guy who loved the campaign but couldn't for the life of him remember who the advertiser was when I approached him and he agreed to answer my one marketing question you know because my, my pitch was something like hi could I ask you one quick mar no I, I said hi we're doing a marketing survey I wonder if I could ask you one quick question that was my opening line I learned the hard way not to start with hi do you mind if I videotape an interview with you that didn't have such a success rate so I had approached him as I had approached the other nine people by saying hi we're doing a marketing survey you notice the use of the royal we we're doing a marketing survey and I wonder if I could ask you one quick question about advertising okay you ready he said sure go ahead mister marketing survey guy and I thought oh no I mean obviously he's familiar with the campaign right and I said oh no because I was secretly hoping that he would not be able to answer my question because I was trying to prove my point so we recorded the interview even the guy who repeated the phrase mister blank guy in this case mister marketing survey guy couldn't remember for whom the advertisement was aired